Hi everyone. Let's continue to look at how you can quickly prepare the ship for pilotage, arrival or departure. Take over the watch or prepare the ship for heavy weather using company checklists, mainly based on the appropriate bridge procedures guide checklists. Those checklists you can find in the Annex 3 of the Bridge Procedures Guide, which should be in the ship's bridge library. Today let's look at Bridge Checklist, which is called Preparation for Sea and let's go through it. Usually this checklist is called Pre-Sailing Checklist or Pre-Departure Checklist, and it is used when you start preparing a ship to leave port. So guys, actually the first thing you have to do is give one hour notice to the engineers to get the engine ready and the deck crew to check the cargo lashings and get the mooring stations ready. Usually this is also indicated on the checklist. So, you should check the following. Passage plan. Birth to birth passage plan for the intended passage prepared and available on the bridge with the route plotted on up to date and appropriate scale charts, official paper or electronic. Passage plan checked and approved by the master. Passage plan briefed to the bridge team. Route displayed on ECTIS and or other electronic navigation aids as appropriate. Up-to-date charts and nautical publications available. Latest notices to mariners, week number. Equipment checks, tested and ready for use. AIS, voyage data updated and correct. You should type the next port of call, ETA. Actual drafts and after departure change the navigation status from MERG to underway using engine. Anchors, cables, and winches. Confirm with the bosun that everything is done. Ancillary bridge equipment, e.g. binoculars. Bridge navigational watch alarm system, NWAS. Usually the captain switch it on after the pilot disembark. Clock synchronized with engine room. Controllable pitch propeller controls and indicators. Course and engine movement recorder, bridge movement book. Deck power. Actis and or other electronic navigation aids. Echo sounder. Electronic position fixing systems. Emergency engine stops and engine, propulsion, ahead and astern. You should do it together with engineers. GMDSS communications and GMDSS log. Switch on all equipment and record in the GMDSS logbook that the GMDSS watch is resumed. Gyro, magnetic compass and repeaters, including repeater and steering gear area. Internal communications, particularly bridge to engine room, bridge to mooring stations. Long-range identification and tracking of ships. LRIT. Navigation lights, shapes and sound signals. Radar and ARPA.
RPM and rate of turn indicators. Signaling equipment including flags, search lights and signal lamps. Speed and distance log. Stabilizers. Steering gear. Thrusters. Voyage data recorder. VDR SVDR. Port and pilotage. Master. Pilot information exchange checklist completed. Pilot card prepared. Pilot boarding time confirmed. Pilot boarding arrangements ready for disembarkation of the pilot. Port and BTS channels monitored. Port. BTS and pilot advised of any special requirements. Preparations for pilotage complete. Securing for sea. Cargo and cargo handling equipment secure. Cargo, passenger details available. Hull openings secure and watertight. Stability and draft information available. Watertight doors closed. Before sailing. All crew on board. Anchors cleared away. Bridge team fit for duty. Engine room ready. Mooring stations manned and ready. MSI checked and communicated to bridge team. Pressure on fire main. Stowaway. Security search completed. When all is complete, put the date and sign it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.